Welcome back to the season finale of The Barks Lurch, the internet's favorite dog review show. I'm your host, contestant, judge, and Barksler himself, Keith Habersberger. What a time we're having. Guys, we're here. There are four dogs. These four dogs for the last five days have been posting at least one post a day and at least one story a day, and I've been watching and judging. Who's gonna win? Is it gonna be Charles Avocado Van Gogh, the three-legged corgi? Is it gonna be Kenny, the beautiful uh, pit bull, maybe bulldog mix? We're not really sure because she's a rescue. Is it Miss Sony, the little minx who loves to create music? Or is it Coda with that weird voice but incredible production value? Who's gonna win the Barksler? Okay, okay. All right, we're scrolling down. Why won't it keep uploading more? That can't be the oldest thing that one of these dogs has posted. Why is Instagram on browser such a piece of shit? I get it, you wanna be a phone app, but you're a multi-million dollar company. Make the browser fucking function. Missoni is our only contestant who actually created her Instagram on the day of the Barkster announcing that she was in the competition. Missoni did not have an Instagram, so this is huge. Missoni is currently at 34.1 thousand followers. Good job, Missoni. She's sitting there beautifully with the donut and the card from me. Oh, that dog is so cute. The shag to her. Oh, and she caught the donut, she played fetch. I also love with little dogs that can't run on like wooden floors like. Oh, okay. All right, the second photo set, it's very blown out, as we like to say. The whites are a little too hot in this photo. <laughs> just a technical note. Yeah, I'm just trying to help people out. It's not just about the creative of the content, it's how you present it. You know, if we didn't color this, this video, it would look flat, it would look boring. Here, drop the color correction. See? All right, put it back. All right, uh, that's a weird joke. <laughs> Is it Friday yet? Oh, she's just in this little bunny rabbit hoodie. Missoni's got style. Oh, she's such a sweepy puppy. Oh, she's so sweepy. She's like, is it Friday yet? Is it Friday yet? I think Missoni's probably got the best fashion sense of the Barksler top four. Let's see what Coda's got going on. No, not Kodak Black. No, I want the Coda that I follow. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Instagram? Oh my gosh, I'm looking at a photo of when Coda was just a little puppy and her pattern hadn't set in, so she's just a little gray blob. Saturdays are for snuggles. Who's your favorite hashtag cuddle buddy? Call to action. That's a good way to get engagement. If you want more engagement on your photos, ask a question. You'll drive your stats up. You'll be more likely to appear in this search or suggested. I came to Coda because Coda makes videos and we got a video right here. Let's check it out. And there was a knock at my door. What? what? A, letter a letter from me. I knew this was something special. Yeah, yeah. it is something special. Congratulations on the final season two of the Barkshire. Why is this music it's so scary? <laughs> it's like I've given her a mission. Him. Him, code is a boy. That was so good. I mean, that's video content right there. That was suspenseful, right? That was like part one of something. What's going on? Why was the music so scary? I don't know. It's awesome. I love Coda. This is a great photo series, and what I like about this is it's honest. You know, sometimes on Instagram, we only present the best version of ourselves, and this is a side-by-side -side that really is that sort of expectations versus reality, which I love. Classic format, Coda looking sweet, wrapped in Christmas decorations, and then we swipe to the right, Coda's pissed. <laughs> Coda's not just pissed, Coda looks a little bit feral. They got a <laughs> attitude going on, and I love it. This one is liked by Charles Avocado. <laughs> The dogs have been liking each other's content. I love it. And now this is Coda's sort of origin story. I've seen a little bit of this. I try not to watch too much because I want to be fresh. Some sad stuff, some heavy stuff. Let's just, let's just jump into it. The holidays are always my time to take a paw back, reflect, and think about how lucky a boy I am. It's a very bittersweet time for my family because we lost my grandpa on Christmas day a few years ago. He was the one who brought me into this incredible family and led the search for me when some bad people stole me from my yard. What? I was just a few months old and it was so scary. My mom found me listed for sale on the internet what? and my family organized a plan with the amazing Garden Grove Police Department. Within a day and a half, I was back in their arms. I'm also lucky that I was microchipped to make the search for me easier. And until we are reunited with Grandpa over that rainbow bridge, I will cherish every holiday I get to spend with my family. 
I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is a dog's Instagram, but also in a way, this is like how someone is actually grieving a loss of a family member and like trying to share their story. And it's so sweet. I'm like gonna start crying right here because that is so sad. That's so sweet. I didn't think this was gonna be how the Parkster turned out, but all these dogs are so sweet and they have such sweet little stories. Whew, that was the last post, thank God. <laughs> I couldn't take another sad story, that's so sweet. Coda, I'm sorry you lost your grandpa. Um, I'm glad your family's doing okay. I'm glad you're back with your family. Good posts, let's check out Kenny. Kenny, <clears throat> I'm fine. Oh my gosh. Kenny's been posting up a storm. I asked for one post a day. Kenny's been like, I'll do, I'll do as many as I can. Just Kenny looking sweet, 8,000 likes. Good simple photo. Kenny's running in. Kenny sees the donut, sees the treats, <laughs> sees the friend. <laughs> And his amped, just going to town on that donut. Just. I didn't even know those were squeak toys. And Kenny has totally ripped it to shreds. That donut is empty, flat, and there's stuffing everywhere. Kenny tagged Ned, said, look Ned, it may not be Yale, but I went to school too. Getting in on the comedy of the Try Guys, I love it. We have Kenny snuggled up in some blankets. It's cold in New England. Mom says I have to get up, but I'd much rather stay in bed all day and cuddle under all these blankets. Mom, origin story. I wanted to take a minute to share part of my story with all of you. We don't know a lot about my background, just that I was found as a stray living on the streets. I was adopted once before my family rescued me, but they brought me back because they couldn't handle all my energy. But now I'm super happy and living my best, happiest, most crazy life. Kenny was sent back and then a new family came in, gave Kenny a home, and now Kenny is one of the most famous dogs in the world. This is too much. This picture is weird. It looks like Kenny's driving a car. Roads are a little rough today. Oh, look at Kenny's little squished up face. Uh, it's time to spread some wisdom about bully breeds. I face breed discrimination on a daily basis because people, people like to peg bully breeds as naturally aggressive dogs. I've had people cross the street when they see me coming and parents pull their children away from me because they're afraid I'm going to attack. I just want to say hi and give lots of kisses. I want to use this platform to spread the word that bullies aren't inherently mean or aggressive. I think you mean pit bulls. That's right, and the stigma. Good job, Kenny. That is beautiful. I'm glad you do it. That was a roller coaster. All right, let's get to Charles Avocado and go. Right now, Charles Avocado does have the most followers at 49.6 thousand followers. He's a seven year old corgi. This we got a little photo strip. Oh, Charles is sleepy. He doesn't want to get out of bed. Kenny knows what that's like. Okay, this is cute. Hello, I'm here for all of your box shredding needs. Oh my God. <laughs> He's doing all that with only one leg because it's only got one front paw. Oh, this is cute. He's got a little Try Guys sticker on his forehead. These photos are really nice. Uh, picture quality's great. Oh yeah, we got a booty pic. Man, look at those glutes. Jesus. Yes. Yes, Charles. Will you nudge it? Nudge it. Nudge it, Charles. Good job, Charles. Now it's time to get into everybody's stories. <coughs> X-Miss, no, what is it? Cassie Moby, please. My God. Little Miss Oni did a great job for us. She actually put all of her stories in the highlights. So I'm gonna start with day one. Let's check it out. My human just got home, so a post from you will be expected soon. That's great. She's freaking out that 10,000 followers. All these posts are just text right now, not the most visual. Singing one, let's check it out. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, this one is getting in her cat bed. <laughs> That's a bed for a cat. <laughs> but she fits just fine. She's just a little cuddle muffin. Oh, she's so precious. Oh, she's walking. She does that best. When you're twinning with mummy. Do they actually write mummy? Over in England, they write mummy? You need something different here. She's nine years old. Hold on, nine years? My God, you're the oldest one in the competition. <laughs> I thought for sure she was the youngest. She's so little. She's like a thousand years young. Little uh, advertisement for Pedigree's Tasty Bites. This is her favorite treat. <laughs> Congratulations, Pedigree, you got some free sponsorship there. Hey, you wanna pay for more? We can always make more, huh? Pedigree, huh? huh? I don't know. She's a bite, a bicon friss, friss? She's a bichon free and chihuahua. A little French, a little Spanish. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Thank you. Cheese. Thank you. Cheese. Thank you. Cheese. Thank you. Cheese. I'm so grateful for all cheese. Thank you. Cheese. Thank you. Cheese. 
Great stuff. Let's move on to Coda. These stories are actually from Coda's email account. <laughs> All the other dogs, their parents email, but Coda has an email. Hey Keith Habs, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf, now get ready for Coda on a Soda. And they photoshopped Coda's face onto a drawn soda can. Very confusing. Having a lunch break? Got 10K friends, we love you. I love the puns. Coda's really the pun queen. Oh, there's a baby in the background! A little toddler! We met Riley in Coda's Paw My Life video last week. Welcome to my Paw My Life. This is so stupid. <laughs> all, this whole show is so silly. Good morning, can we go back to sleeves? All these dogs really want a nap. Mommy, forget finals, let's nap instead. Man, uh, these dogs I think are just the inner monologue of the owners, just really wanting to take a break. Who's your favorite person? Keith Habs, my mommy is my, once again, Coda, when you ask who's your favorite person, you answer me. Not your family, it was me. I'm the Barksler. This ends in a proposal or an adoption or a theft, something we don't know. That's Are very you cute. The barksler? I'm the Barksler. Are you sure? Well, I'm the Barksler, and then I, I <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm the Barksler. Oh, this is so cute. I'm six, seven in January. A Capricorn. Eugene will be thrilled. Do you have siblings? We got an older brother named Drexler. Drexler was not submitted for the Barksler because everybody knows Drexler is not as hot. <laughs> That's Coda. Good job, Coda. Oh, Drexler's pretty funny looking though. Got Coda. Oh yeah, this one I love. This is a great video. All right, it's Coda trying to walk through a doggy door with a big bone. <laughs> Can't do it. Keeps getting stuck. Classic. Woo, love it. Really great stories from Coda. I love Coda so much. Let's move on over to Kenny. Kenny, where's your belly? Where's your belly, Kenny? Where's your belly? Where's your belly? There it is! There's yeah! Man, Kenny's got a good belly. Oh my gosh, Kenny's upside down. What a cute dog. Kenny's so cute. Uh, honestly, like Kenny's a dog. Like I've always joked about stealing the dog. I would steal Kenny. Kenny's a cute dog. Oh yeah, woo! Kenny does this trick where Kenny falls back and then gets caught and they rub the belly and I just love it. I can't get enough of it. It's so darn precious. I've never seen that trick before. Roll over. Roll over, Kenny. Roll over. Show us that belly. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Kenny got a treat. Kenny did the trick. Good job, Kenny. Kenny's a dog. Kenny's just out there being a dog. He's not wearing clothes. He's not baking cookies. He's just rolling over. Kenny is so cute. My God. And last but not least, we got Charles Avocado. Van Gogh. Charles actually has been doing so much content, I can't possibly go through it all. Really a, an impressive challenger and competitor in this. 2015, Charles Avocado ate some aluminum foil. Started being weird, started acting a little restless. So the oh. mom took Charles Avocado to the vet and they decided that the neurological symptoms were something called hepatic encephalof... Uh, I can't pronounce it. Something neurological. This made uh, the liver fail. Now, I don't know if this is because of the, the tinfoil or something else, but basically, Charles Avocado liver has failed as of uh, 2015 in November. They have to get an ultrasound, they have to plan for surgery, they go through and get the surgery. One quick note, they always censor Charles Avocado's dick. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's really funny. Like all, every, every time he's upside down, <laughs> he put something over his penis. The vets thought it was just gonna be one little problem to take it out, but they get into surgery and of course it's more than that. Spends the night at the hospital. They weren't sure if Charles was going to make it, but Charles is, is a fighter. They only thought that the dog was going to make it a couple weeks. Said the prognosis was grim. So of course they started preparing for the worst and we got some photos of uh, Charles with shaved belly, stitches up his tummy, hard to look at. But every day that passed, Charles is getting stronger, becoming more like Charles' self. So many snuggles, so much soccer yet to play. Charles was going for it, not gonna give up. Before he knew it, he was back to his goofy self. Now obviously Charles only has three legs, so how did this happen? How Something started happening, the paw had a problem, went to the Iowa State uh, veterinarian, they found out that something was wrong with the paw, the paw was becoming infected, whatever was happening was really bad, so they had to eventually amputate. But, you know, he did fine, he's okay again, he's alive, he's good. He's got one less leg, but he's not any bit less of a dog. Such a sweetie. Uh, and they talk about him going to the vet, they talk about all the difficulties he's been through, I and mean, it's just, just so like in depth, and it's really great storytelling, it's very thorough, it really makes you feel connected to this pup. He's really just a great content creator, and a lot of people love Charles, so 
There we are. Now what do we do? Who wins the bark slurp? How do you even just choose one? This is tough. All these dogs have great posts, they have great stories. I learn so much, I feel like I know these dogs. How do we decide? I'm gonna go ahead and say that in fourth place, although this dog is such a cute little muffin, a darling, a darling among darlings, I'm going to say that in fourth place is Missoni. Missoni, I love you so much. You were such a good dog. You did a great job. I've loved you ever since I saw you. I always wanted to put you on my shoulder. You're such a sweetie. I want you to use this as an opportunity to, you know, do more of your art uh, and continue this up. So congratulations, Missoni. You are my fourth favorite dog in the world. Pretty good. In third place, I am going to give this to Coda. Coda. You are so amazing, but you are a YouTuber. The videos you make are YouTube videos. I think your Instagram is awesome. I think you should keep up Instagram because it's a better place for you to succeed. But I think you should consider putting some of your content on YouTube. First of all, YouTube has monetization. I think you can do it. I think you can crush it out there. I think, and uh, you have a great story. So here we are. What do we do? We got Charles Avocado Van Gogh. Every year has had something rough happen to him, but he has persevered. And then we have Kenny. Kenny was on the streets. Kenny's a breed that has got a lot of misconceptions. So what do we do? This is hard. Actually, I'll, I'll be honest. I tweeted last night that Becky and I were having an argument over who should win the Barksler. And it was between Kenny and Charles Avocado Van Gogh. And it's because both of these dogs deserve to win. It's just so hard. It's this really difficult decision. You always watch those reality shows and you're like, Oh, well, just pick the one you like the most. I'm like, well, I don't know which one I like the most. I like them both. Ooh, I never thought it would be like this. You know, I really thought I was gonna make a video where I sort of made fun of a bunch of people's dogs on the internet. And uh, through this, I think I've actually grown the most. All right, I'm just gonna announce the winner because if I announce second place, you already know who won. Uh, so I'm gonna say of the person who didn't win, I think that you are doing so many amazing things out there. I want you to keep making content. I think that you're a beautiful dog. I'm so proud of you. The winner of the second season of The Barksler, which is really the only actual season of The Barksler, but it's the second season of The Barksler, is the winner of the first impression bone, Charles Avocado Van Gogh. Yay! Yay! Let's make it rain like doggy bones here. Wow! Charles. I have to give it to you. Your content is great. And ultimately this is about finding the most viral dog and the best content creator. And I think your content is the best. And what do you win? What do you win? Uh, what do you win? <laughs> well, you win the honor, <laughs> first and foremost. How about I just keep, you know, posting uh, about you once a month for the rest of the year. Let's see if we can get you to 500,000 followers by the end of the year, huh? Not the end of this year, by the end of the next year. By uh, 2020, we're gonna get Charles Avocado Van Gogh to 500,000 Instagram followers. Congratulations to Charles Avocado Van Gogh, who, who is, is the winner, winner of season two of The Barksler. Are you tired of sitting at home all alone? Well, why aren't you following Keith on Instagram? Because I motivated more people to follow dogs this week than I motivated to follow myself. Follow me at Keith Habs. I'm the genius here, okay?